the 12th of June, Tuesday of the week of Pentecost three, Martin Luther, 1483-1546. Thus you see how necessary it is to boast and glory in our ministry. When I was only a young theologian and doctor, I thought it was imprudent of Paul in his epistle to boast of his call so often, but I did not understand his purpose, for I did not know that the ministry of the word of God was so weighty a matter. I did not know anything about the doctrine of faith and the true conscience. Therefore, no one could understand how forceful and powerful is this holy and spiritual boasting about a call which serves first to the glory of God, secondly to the advancement of our own ministry, and also to our own benefit and to that of the people. When we boast in this way, we are not looking for prestige in the world or praise from men or money for the pleasure of the goodwill of the word. The reason for our proud boasting is that we are in a divine calling and in God's own work and that the people need to be assured of our calling in order that they may know that our word is in fact the word of God. This then is not a vain pride. It is a most holy pride against the devil and the world, and it is a true humility in the sight of God and the prayer. August Hermann Franke, 1663-1727. O Lord God, give, I beseech you, both now and at all times hereafter to your church, pastors and teachers, after your own heart, even such as shall bring the sheep of Christ into his fold, and who through the influence of your good spirit shall feed them with saving knowledge and understanding. Make every preacher of your word know and always remember that neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth but you or all in all who alone can give the increase. Let none of them vainly presume on their skill and ability to any good by their preaching and obtain any good success, but let them all humbly wait upon you and by fervent prayer let them seek for and obtain the aids of your grace to enable them to dispense the word of life and let your blessing render their preaching happily successful to the souls of those that hear them. Amen.